Oh, hello there. Well, uh, looks like it's time to begin class, so alright, let's do this thing. Alright, hello, my name is Professor Mikey. Some of you may have had me before. I am subbing in for your teacher who wasn't kidnapped, and uh, so I could just do this. I mean, uh, they're, they're fine, yeah, they'll, they'll be fine, they'll be back tomorrow. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I like to consider myself a renaissance skeleton, that's right. Yep, I, uh, I've done some stuff with history, I've done some stuff with science, all of this very accurate, of course. And now, here I am with math. Now, what is my, uh, what is my, uh, credibility? Why, why am I able to teach math? Well, I've got the Certificate of Achievement, and how'd I get that? Well, I got it, uh, uh well, I, I didn't steal it, I, I, uh, it's not like I printed that off the internet or anything, you know, that's, uh, it's 100% real. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, do I know anything about math? No, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course I do, alright. Alright, so raise of hands before we get started. Uh, how many of you know the pie and ice cream theory? No, that's not it. The, the pie, mag, magrian... The, the, my, the, 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 you know, the, the P guy. How did you guys know his theory? Uh, how A squared plus C squared equals seven? Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay, so, all right, great, good. We got that out of the way. So, all right, so today we're going to be learning about, uh, let's see, what are we going to learn about? We're going to learn about the tangent of the cosecant that, that is, of course, you know, everyone, I feel like everyone already knows this already, but, you know, I'm just going to do this as a review. All right, so I'm going to write a few problems on the board and I'll solve them for you. All right, here we go. All right, so we've got our first two uh, problems here. These ones are probably, uh, well, this one especially, I think that one's the hardest, but that one, that one's pretty easy. And we've got our easiest problem over here, which we'll get to in a second. We're, I like starting off with the hard stuff first, and then, you know, we transition to the easy stuff, you know, get you guys thinking, and then let, let you guys relax. All right, so as you can see, one plus two equals me, Mikey. Yeah, oh no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is, uh, I understand this is a pretty complex, this is a pretty complex problem. Uh, even the great Archimedes, like he, that guy, that old guy that like, uh, he like did some stuff, you know, he couldn't even solve this, which is understandable, it's very hard. So basically all you have to do is you have to add the first number, wait, wait for you, you have to add the first number to the second number, and then you get the answer, yeah. I know it's pretty complicated, but the answer is four. Okay, anyway, so we're moving on next to this one right here, seven with like, it has like a house thing, like it's it's not on its own, you know, these guys, they don't have houses, which is kind of sad, but it's understandable in the economy these days, but this guy, he has a house, so, uh, yeah, so that means that, uh, when you have that house thing, that means you have to divide by two, which means that that would be five, no, wait, no, 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 sorry, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right, it's six, okay, sorry, there you go, so, so the first answer is uh, four, then we have six, and now we're moving on to this one. This one is pretty simple. It uh, uses a simple math term known as the quadratic formula uh, of pi. That's that's the actual full title, by the way. So all right, so all you have to do is you have to add all the numbers up. So you've got x squared, you've got three, you've got, uh, I think that's a one, or it looks kind of like an h, but I think it's a one. Can't even read my own handwriting. And we've got a y squared, and we've got a z. So if you add all those up, you get, uh, you get uh, five, I think. So there you go. Yeah, that's just pretty simple. Yeah, I don't think you need to explain that one too much. So anyways, let's move on to something else. Now, wait, wait. Okay, so you're probably thinking, wow, I got all of those wrong. And actually, you're wrong. I didn't get most of those wrong, but I got this one wrong. I'm sorry about that. I was just kidding about it being so, so, so uh, hard and complex. The answer to that is actually 4.5. I just wanted to clear that up. Okay, anyways, let's move on. All right, class, so now it's quiz time. All right, now that I've taught you everything you need to know about the secant of the cosecant tangent of the quadratic formula, here we've got a new problem. That's right, this is complicated algebra geometry stuff with a little bit of trigonometry thrown in for extra flavor. So here we go. So, all right, don't be... Uh, don't worry about this, you know, it's it's just a little test to make sure you guys are getting what I'm what I'm throwing down If you don't get what I'm getting what I'm uh, saying then it'll be fine You know this will just show that you need a little more practice and I can explain it a little better So here is the problem once again. Don't freak out and here we go yeah, I, I know I know it's, it's very hard All right, you just just think about it for a little bit and uh, let me know when you've got the answer I can't actually hear you though, cause like, like you're in a, like I'm in a computer and you're not in the computer, so like if you come in here then I can hear you, but uh, I don't think that's possible right now. So anyways, yeah, so go ahead and uh, let me know when you've got the answer, you know, type in the comment sections below and uh, we'll see what you get. Alright, there we go. So, uh, let's continue on a little more with our lesson and then we'll call it a day. 
Now here's a little quote from George Washington. He once said that if you don't know how to add something, just look it up on Google and it will be fine. So if you Googled that, that's perfectly understandable. You know, it's pretty complex. So I had to Google it myself, honestly. I'm a math professor and even had to Google it. So yeah, remember that George Washington is a very wise person and one of my favorite mathematicians. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna con uh, continue. I've got a word problem for you guys and then we'll call it a day. All right, let's do it. Alright, so follow along with me. So Sally has free jelly beans, but then she eats all of them. But then she buys three more jelly beans, and she eats those ones. But then Sally buys three more jelly beans, and she doesn't eat those, and she throws them into a portal to another dimension, and they get cross-contaminated with some other stuff, and they become seven jelly beans, and they come back to her hand. Uh, how many jelly beans does she have if Matthew steals all of the jelly beans, but then gives one back, but then steals that one back, and then makes two more by cloning that one that he stole, and giving it to her, but then also she eats them. So how many are left? If you answered 32, then you're right! Alright, well, thank you very much, class. I hope you've enjoyed this lecture. I hope you guys have learned a lot of stuff. Like, I taught you guys uh, Euclidean geometry, or whatever that is called, or like, uh, like algebraic, uh, algebraic, uh, stuff. That, that one thing. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. And your regular teacher will be back tomorrow. I don't think they'll be as good as me, but that's okay. You know, not everyone can be as good as me, Mikey. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye.